Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Frank and I am back for part two of my review of Haystack Stylish and Smart Digital Business Card. The digital business card that resides on your, yep, you guessed it, your phone. If you forgot, this is what it looks like. Look at my business card, totally pimped out. All right. Anyway, this saves you time, saves trees, and may even save you. You missed part one. Just scroll through my feed. I think you'll eventually find uh, part one of Haystack where I go over the interface. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it is actually, I will give you a link to my YouTube channel. Got to turn off these, uh, these notifications there. But I will give you a link to my YouTube channel, my uh, IGTV, where I have the exact same review on those channels so you can watch them at your own leisure. Okay? Now, this digital business card is something that you have to get for several reasons, all right? It saves time. It saves money. It even saves you. How many times have we left home and been, wait a minute, I, I know it's somewhere. You forgot your business cards. And someone says, hey, can I have your business card? You're like, I, I forgot it. Now, if you're using that as an excuse, Wink, wink, you know, just saying, okay? But for the most part, you don't even have to use that excuse because you can just give them your digital business card. As you can see here on my screen, this is the entry point for the laptop desktop uh, admin panel for Haystack Digital Business Cards. Big companies use this. So if you're in doubt, Toyota, Century 21, SAP, Vodafone, L'Oreal, Keller Williams, Remax, Pizza Hut, okay? So the big wigs are using this. So if you have any doubt, just know I think it has been tried and tested, okay? So let's get right into it. I want to make this as quick as possible and straight to the point. Here you are. When you open up your laptop and go to Haystack or thehaystack.com, you're going to get this screen. You're going to get two options to log in. You're going to get to my Haystack, and you're going to get to go to the admin dashboard. Let's check them both out so I can show you the differences and show you a lot of the features. So great. Here we are. This is my Haystack. You can tell why. Because there is my pretty mug right there. Right there. Yes, it is. Oh, look at you. Anyway, um, <laughs> this is where all of your scanned business cards reside. So over here on the left-hand side, you can see all of the cards that I have scanned, okay, and sent my card to. I can also sort this list by uh, A to Z, company, or the most recently updated. I can open up a card, and I can edit it. So, you know, if I want to, um, let's say, speak to, you know, the accountant, pull up an air card, click edit, and boom, all right, I can edit this card. Now, you do have to edit it on your phone, but anyway, you can edit it. That That's just what it does. You edit it. However, let's go straight to the admin because I find that that is where most of the coolest features of Haystack are. All right? So here we go. We're going to go to the admin. So that's the other login. Same login information, two different sites open up, just in case you're wondering. So here we are. Manage cards. It says Haystack Business. This is where you can add cards for new people coming into your organization. They might be temporary. They might be interns. They might be just team members, as I like to call people on my team. Let me tell you, one reason I really like this digital business card is because your business cards cost a lot of money. And you have somebody that comes on board. You spend all this money to give them a really nice business card, and then they take off. And you spend all this money, and what are you going to do with those business cards? Are they going to return one day and go, hey, boss, you don't have to give me any business cards because I saved them from 10 years ago. No, that's not going to happen, okay? So this is a great way. Uh, this is what I do. Everybody gets the digital business cards after they're vetted, after they've proven their worth, uh, so to speak. They now get the really nice, fancy business cards. So that's how it works. All right, so as you can see here, I have three that are out right now. I uh, kind of just cleaned everything up. Uh, but let's go straight to the templates. 
Now, what's really interesting about this is, as you can see, you can create a template. I already have a template for my business card, but I can add another template. Now, why might I want to do that? Maybe I have a side hustle, all right? So I'm going to add a, a template for that. Or I actually have two logos for my company, and I've been trying to decide how I'm going to use both of those logos. So I can create a totally separate template that I'm maybe using for a very specific segment of my business, and they're going to get uh, that business card with that logo. Or, hey, I might be just feeling like I want to give that one out that day. Whatever. Whatever the reason is, you can have more than one. So as you can see here, I can see you can see that I have 22 contact details applied to three cards. Now, let me ask you. When is the last time you have had 22 contact details on your business card? You might be saying, well, Frank, why do I need 22 contact details? I just need my name, number, maybe work number, address, my logo. I might put my LinkedIn on there. You have six, right? We have all those, but we also have all of our social media profiles, white papers, presentations, videos, scheduling system oh heck let's let's just take a look at it all right so i'm gonna open up the template see right there I have uh old gold that's our uh, highlight color all right uploaded my my logo let's go to our content As you can see here this is everything that we have company website phone cell mobile can somebody tell me put in the comments the difference between cell and mobile i don't I mean, some of you are really important, so you have like two cell phones. I, I just have one. That means I'm not important, but I just have one. Just saying. Street address, mailing address, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube. All right, there's our YouTube channel. Our video, uh, our corporate video that we have. Scheduling an appointment with us. Our Instagram, actually my Instagram and my company's Instagram. All right, so we have two on there. Same thing with the Twitter account, okay? Uh, we have, we're running a special, so we have a specials on our digital business card. Here's our portfolio that actually has our client case studies on there. So the oppor or the 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 opportunities, the it's endless. It's just endless what you can put on your business card. Let me just say that I'm trying to go fast. Don't want to make this long and drawn out. Now the other thing I really like about this is you can choose which fields are editable and not editable. So for example, cell phone. That's my cell phone. All right. <laughs> Just kidding. But I don't want my people going out to networking events, giving out their digital business card. All of a sudden, I'm getting phone calls. No. So I allow them to edit this field. That's why there's a check mark there. Check mark. Okay. Now, other things like the street address, you know, I don't want to say that I'm going to put the street address as my, as my house. No, that is not editable. That's why there's no check mark there no check mark okay so anyway um just endless what you can do here we even have our crm where is it right here all the way at the bottom our newsletter all right and our brochure so we have everything on our business card okay let's go down email signatures now i use a different app for my email signatures and i'm going to be reviewing that in another segment however some of my software some that i'm also going to be reviewing does not allow me to use um, a dynamic email signature, meaning it changes. My quotes change, it has video. It's, it's the coolest thing, coolest thing. Anyway, so this allows you to put in employees' email and send them their email signature. They simply import that into, uh, into we're using G Suite, okay? We import it into the uh, signature block of G Suite. Now somebody clicks on that, it's going to open up their digital business card where uh, in my business, come on, go, go, go. I meet a lot of people right there. Okay. You know, open up their digital business card just like that. Okay. So really cool. If you want to have consistency, like it says right here, update automatically and deliver a consistent look and feel across your teams. Okay. So great. So that's something else. That's another feature of Haystack. Let's keep going. CSV export. Now, you, if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know I am a stickler for a CRM, Customer Relationship Management. I am a stickler for marketing automation, and I'm going to have some really in-depth videos about that, but moving right along. Okay, one of the biggest reasons people lose sales is because of a lack of follow-up. 
Now you saw all of those business cards that I had, right? Hey, I'm only human. I forget. I really try to follow up. But it's not really following up. It's how many times are you following up? This can fix that. You can export all those cards. You can see all your cards, cards received are updated in the last 30 days, uh, custom range. You know, you can decide how far back you want to go to export your cards, put them into that CRM, and get all those people into a nurturing uh, sequence, a re-engagement campaign, a newsletter, whatever. How much easier does it get than that? I mean, this is the coolest thing, all right? And you know I love it because... This isn't even like a paid promotion. I'm just doing it because I think you should know this is good. All right, so just export it. Plus, I'm a nice guy. All right, integrations. Let's keep moving along. Zapier, if you're not familiar with Zapier, I'm going to be talking about that. That allows two totally unrelated softwares to speak to each other. I do that a lot. We put a lot of those integrations together for our clients. HubSpot, MailChimp, all right? HubSpot, inbound marketing, MailChimp, um, Email marketing, okay, Microsoft Dynamics, Salesforce, and all other CRMs, you get an API, so you can have both of the softwares, Haystack and something else, talk to each other and just create harmony and bliss. All right, cool. Let's keep going. Now, this is what I really love. Okay, so strap in. You see I'm in my gaming chair. Strap in because it gets good from here. Let's talk about analytics. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that number was different before. All my digital, digital business cards have been shared 658 times to generate 900 brand exposure events. 900. Whoa. Now think about all the business cards. Let me see. Let me... Okay. All these business cards. <laughs> How many times have you scanned those and put them in to your CRM? All right. And how many times you've given out your own business cards and do you know whether people are looking at them or not? All right. So you can see that each company card has been shared 219.3 times on the average. All right. Each recipient has viewed my cards. That means from my entire team, 3.6 times on average. Each recipient has performed half card actions on average. All right. So that means they clicked on a link inside of our digital business card. 60 recipients have your employee's card saved to their contact. Boom. Boom. That is awesome. I love that. And, oh, card, excuse me, card recipients have sent a total of 22 referrals. Now, how would you know with a paper business card if someone is referring you or sending your business card to someone else? You don't. That's simple, you know. All right, so 22 referrals. As you can see here, employees have shared 14% of their contacts with your company's card collection. Hmm. Hmm. I think we, I'm gonna have to have a, I'm gonna have to have a talk about that one. 14%? Nah, it's probably that they just didn't export them. Okay, so you can actually see if you're really stickler, if you're a stickler, you're like, hey, you're going to these events, you should be meeting 10 people a day. I want to see these people updated in the database. All right, it really doesn't get any easier than that. Think about this for your sales team. All right, you can see that 100% of my company's cards are fully activated and claimed. So, anyway, I really hope that this was helpful. I just think the analytics alone are worth getting. Haystack, it is totally affordable. It looks good. It is moving forward with the future. Uh, really easy to set up. And anyway, please check in the comments below for some links. December 17th, 1130 to 1, I am holding a free, that means it cost you zero, zero webinar on little known apps uh, and tech to run your business on a budget. So there's a lot of software out there. A lot of people aren't even... Uh, aware of and I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite software that I have found because I totally bootstrapped my business didn't have a lot to spend so I looked for the best software that could get the job done that's December 17th the registration link is in the comments below okay so I would love to see you there I have limited space so register please uh, those that register are going to receive a recorded copy 
of the webinar. Those that attend are actually going to get some really nice goodies at the end. I love goodies. Who doesn't love goodies? Nice goodies at the end. So try to get in there. All right. It's going to be extremely informative and helpful. Thank you very much. And as always, peace. Thank you.